Why, hello YouTube! How nice to see you, it's been a while. Um, wow, what can I say? I've uh, literally just went and had a look at some of my videos, and I've seen that some people have left some really lovely comments on there about my Diaries of a Compulsive Gambler. And I thought, well, if people want to see more videos of what it is like to be a compulsive gambler, then what am I to say no? Anyway, my name's Simon, I'm 28 years old, going to be 29 in about three weeks' time, and I am a compulsive gambler. Now, let me have a uh, think. Um, it has been... Well, let's have a look at my calendar. Sorry about the washing machine in the background. Right, we're in, we're in June. Let's have a look and see. I moved into my house in February, I believe. Right, January... Right. So, yes, my last gamble, I believe, was on Sunday the 10th of February. So that means I have gone 1 February, March, April, May. Let's just say it's been about four months since my last gamble. Incredible! I can't believe it. Um, my life has completely, completely turned around. It's not been squeaky clean, as I will explain more in this video, okay? But my life has completely turned around. And I'm in a position now where I'm able to buy very nice things. For example, da 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 da! That, right? Which I'm going to try and get the best picture of. Right, I need you to see that because this is an electric bike, right? And I've bought that through hard graft and not gambling. The money I've saved, I've been paying off my debts, and I've been able to buy some really nice things because I've not been gambling. Wow! How does this happen? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's have a look and see what else I've bought. I mean, I've bought various, like, Blu-rays and stuff. Um, oh, oh, I've got to show you this. I've got to show you this. Right? It's, it's second-hand. It isn't brand new, but I have bought a TV off a friend of mine and it is a beautiful TV. The picture quality is amazing. Hold on, it's a bit dark up here. I'm just going to go and turn on some lights. Here we go. Right. Look at that. That TV is on the end of my bed. And I, I paid a friend of mine uh, for it. She, she was sending it, her and her partner. And uh, they didn't want it, so I bought it off them. Cash! Cash! That cash would have gone in a fruit machine. Oh. Right. Here we go. Now we're going to go into my... I'm so proud of this room, by the way. Let me turn on this light. There we go, that's better. All right, I am so proud of this room. This is my chill-out room, right? And uh, these are the bits and bobs I bought for it. <laughs> right, my bean bag. My bean bag, which I got there. And even though they're not turned on, you can see my lava lamps there and my little CD player with an iPod dock. Right, I've got my futon and these are my posters from my university days. I'll go around again nice and slow. Right, now, anyway, getting to the nitty gritty of all of this, right? I've not really, really, and I say really, and I will explain the really, I've not really gambled in four months, right, since the 10th of February. And, what can I say? I mean, I've, I've, I've been to pubs and I've seen people gamble and I've seen them, like, putting 10, 20s, five pound notes, pound coins, everything you can imagine in these fruit machines, and they have lost. And it's been... This is going to sound really morbid, but it's been good for me to see them lose. But, however, right, you've got to remember, at the end of the day, you're shoving those notes in. Those machines are there to make money, right? Now, I say that I've not really gambled, okay? In the whole four months that I've not gambled, I have bought the following. Two Euro Million tickets, which I've obviously lost on. But, for me, I don't regard lottery... A ticket, not scratchy, scratches are different, but a lottery, I do not regard that as gambling. I tell you why, because I believe that for £2, I am buying a five minute daydream where I can treat my family, my friends, and everything to everything that they want and what I want. So I do not regard that as gambling. I believe you're buying into a service, and if you win, 
great, but that daydream is worth two pounds. I don't care what anyone says. Right, when I say I've not really gambled, I've actually been in the last, hold on, I'm gonna sit down on my bean bag. All right. I have been in the last few days to, uh, through my private work with uh, kids that I look after with learning difficulties, I have been to a bowling alley, and at the bowling alley was a 2p machine and a 10p machine. Now, my kid that I was looking after was really happy going on the 2p machine. I put, f now I feel really bad for this because it, it, is a, it is a dip, it is a dip. I put five pounds worth of 10p's into a 10p pusher, thinking that I might win. And I very quickly got through five pounds. And straight away, straight away, the gambler and me came out because I wanted to change up another note. I wanted to get 50 10p's and I wanted to gamble on. But I stopped myself because I knew I wouldn't. But I still lost five pounds of my hard-earned money. And I felt very ashamed of myself. Now today, today being the 31st, today is September, April, June, now, November, all the rest of that, being the 31st of May, yes, 31st of May, um, I lost a further £1.50. So in one week, I have gambled £6.50 on 10p pushers. It's not a lot of money, but the principle of it is there. Temptation will always be there. And I, 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 when I first started making these videos, I said to myself, you've just got to resist temptation. Well, I'll tell you what, temptation will always, always be there for me. And this is a difficult one. Now, the only thing that I'm very, very proud of and I'm very, very aware of is that there are other fruit machines out there, uh, there, are, there are fruit machines, I haven't been on one, and I'm not tempted to go on one, but the temptation is always there, and, and I think this is why as well I need to start doing more of these videos, because you guys keep me grounded, it, it's not because of the, the nice little comments that I get, it's, it's mainly because I'm able to express myself, the anger, and, and do you know what, just by doing this video just right now, and I've been able to walk around the house and show you guys my possessions that I bought because I haven't gambled. It is so therapeutic. And I, I, anyone out there who's trying to get over this, this horrible psychological illness, just remember, you don't put that £30 in a fruit machine. You can buy yourself, I, I don't know, four bottles of really nice wine that you like. Or you can go and buy... That brand new Les Miserables Blu-ray that's come out, which I really want, by the way, which I still haven't bought. But, you know, there's so much stuff that you can buy and you're not pumping that money in. I know the thrill of winning is there, but you're not going to do it. You're not going to win. Those are designed to make money. They don't put a fruit machine in a pub or in a casino to pay out. It's to pay the staff. We need to realise this, gamblers. We need to realise it. Oh, I don't know. I feel better. I've just let out a lot of steam. Be honest, people. Tell people what is going on in your life. Tell them you're a compulsive gambler. I've told everyone at work that I'm a compulsive gambler, and they know to look out for me when I'm out. Not that they need to, because I'm strong. I've, oh, God, in my head, there, it's, I just thought, at the moment, I will be strong. I don't want to be a gambler. I don't want to lose and I certainly don't want to feel that these last four months of working my arse off paying my debts back and trying to live in as beautiful well a beautiful four bedroom house I've got to myself for the time being I don't want to lose that so I don't want to gamble gamblers always lose the only people that win are the people who own the fruit machines and the casinos, and the bingo halls, because that's how they do it. YouTube, my rant and rave for this time is over. I will do more videos because I've been asked to. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. You guys are keeping me strong, and I hope my messages are keeping you strong. See you later, and bye for now.